It's time for your favorite pro wrestling opinion show, Jags Jabs. I am Jefferson Alonzo Green, and today I've got a jab at AEW, Matt Hardy, and whatever the hell this crap was on Dynamite a couple nights ago. Now, I have to make a confession. If you will bear with me, the Jag is going to tell you that I have thoroughly enjoyed AEW recently. It seems like when they don't have a crowd to, to pop every time somebody dives out of the freaking ring, they actually have to do some storytelling in their matches. So I have appreciated AEW Dark. I've appreciated AEW Dynamite. Of course, we all have more time on our hands, so I've been watching a lot of wrestling. And last week's episode wasn't half bad. This week, terrible. This week was crap. I don't know who in their right mind has allowed Matt Hardy to come and do this broken gimmick, which we know was successful before. Woken was somewhat successful in the WWE, but now this dude is teleporting? Chris Jericho, one of the greatest promos in the world, is promoing and talking to a, dr a drone? Vanguard? Offering him a spot in the in the inner circle. And then, of course, Matt Hardy shows up with his Damascus persona. Ah, this is crap. You know what I think? I think Tony Khan hates Tony Schiavone. Let me explain why. Tony Schiavone gets crapped on week after week by Britt Baker, who is a terrible promo. Yes, she's gotten better, but she is tragic. And they just basically let her crap on Tony Schiavone. Tony Schiavone gets caught up in all these stupid little angles when Big Swole is facing off against whomever for some title shot that nobody cares about. Tony Schiavone just had to pretend like some rapid editing, some, some, some cuts as Matt Hardy runs to different parts of the arena was some sort of magic trick. Magic. We have an alien from the Andromeda Galaxy. Now we have a man who can allegedly teleport and we have a drone that should be part of the inner circle. What in God's name is happening? I know we have to suspend disbelief. I know we have to let go of certain things when we watch wrestling, but should we have to let go of space and time? Should we have to let go of just logic and common sense? Now Matt Hardy has magic? He even said, I'm magic. Magic? Magic? You just killed 15 minutes of my day. 15, which thank you, by the way, because this quarantine stuff sucks. But this is 15 minutes of my life that I will never get back watching Matt Hardy do a terrible accent and playing a character where he's talking about Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King and what the hell is this crap? Look, people, say what you want about WWE. Say what you want about Vince McMahon. Of course, Brody Lee is doing a horrible Vince McMahon impression. I don't know why. You're in the greater, better place, right? You left the crappy job. If you worked at McDonald's and it sucked, they paid you minimum wage, then you got a job at In-N-Out Burger and they're paying you 13 bucks an hour and everything's so much better, are you going to come into In-N-Out every day and go, man, screw McDonald's? No. You're going to go and enjoy where you work. You're going to enjoy this new life, this new opportunity. These clowns can't seem to leave the WWE alone, but that's a whole other video. Matt Hardy. As much as I enjoy you, as much as I think you're fantastic, as much as you are part of the Jags' childhood growing up, rooting for the Hardy Boys, this has to stop. You are not supernatural. You are not Undertaker from 1991. And if you were, you'd have better pyro and better timing and better execution than the crap that we just saw. If you like this, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask that question because you guys are liars. If you say this is good television, you are lying to yourself. I understand you AEW marks want so badly for AEW to be the greatest thing in the world and you hate WWE so much that you'll say anything is good. This was bad. We can call the Dark Order bad. We can call this bad. It was, y'all. It was terrible. Let me just put it this way. If the WWE had a person fake teleport through the arena and then had, had some other, you know, I don't know, the Miz talking to a drone, um, you guys would say they're lost touch and they're going down and it's a horrible business and whatever, whatever, whatever. But I'm seeing posts and tweets and social media activity saying this was brilliant. What part? Tony Khan must hate Tony Schiavone because Tony Schiavone just lost all credibility by preparing and saying this was magic. Oh, do you guys, what's going on here? Now he's here, now he's there. This is like playing tea party with your daughter, okay? You know good and damn well there ain't no tea in that cup, but you fake it, you pretend. And Tony Schiavone is pretending for the sake of this thing. There needs to be a boss. Somebody has to reel this in. I know Matt Hardy said, 
on the Chris Jericho podcast they booked themselves, that's a problem. Y'all need to stop booking yourselves and get somebody, an authority figure, I know not Vince because Vince has his own issues, but get somebody to reel this crap in. The Kenny Omega freaking Sammy Guevara match was too damn long. Why is every match 30 freaking minutes? Look, AEW, you had me. I was rooting for you. I was excited for you. I was going, hey, this is getting kind of good. I still hate John Moxley. I think that's a stupid angle. I think him as the broke-ass great value version of Stone Cold Steve Austin is not very cool. But, hey, Moxley versus Hager? I'd like to see it. You got Dustin and QT Marshall teaming up as the natural nightmares or whatever the hell they called it. Okay, I'm here for it. Look, there, there's opportunity here, but when you spend 15 minutes in an empty arena with some guy pretending to be a time-traveling vampire with a horrible accent and a ridiculous laugh while one of the greatest to ever do it is talking to a freaking drone? You lost me. And I have a feeling you lost a lot of other people as well. That's going to do it for Jags Jabs. If you hated this week's episode of Dynamite, please let me know in the comments. If you loved this week's episode of Dynamite, please let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit me up on social media at aka the jag. Follow the show, make me a fan at makemefan316 on all social media channels. And we will see you next time.